Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over Haskell tuples or tuples. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open up the compiler here. And now what is a tuple? Well, a tuple is very similar to a, a list. Here's a list here, one, two, three. The list containing the elements one, two, and three. And this is a tuple containing the components one, two, and three. So you can see the only difference here really what it looks like ahead of time is um, the brackets and the uh, parentheses. Um, however, a list of numbers is a list of numbers. Uh, that's its type. And it doesn't matter if it has only one number in it or an infinite amount of number. Tuples, however, are used when you know exactly how many values you want uh, to combine and its type depends on how many components it has and the types of components. So. Let me go ahead and show you guys some of the differences here. So, um, what you cannot do with a list is one, two, and then uh, maybe clown in a list. So, let's go ahead and press enter here. And you see we get an error message. For a tuple, however, we can have one, two, we can have clown. No error message. We get a tuple here, one, two, clown. So uh, why, why do we want to use tuples? Maybe we want to use it to, uh, to set up some type of uh, data structure. Um, maybe we want the first name of somebody. So we'll say Billy. And maybe we want the last name, Gene. And maybe we want Billy's um, age. So 34. And maybe we want to know Maybe we want to know, uh, is he male or female? Um, if they, if Billy's a male, then uh, we'll say true. And if Billy's a female, we'd say false. So this is really good to uh, combine that type of data together. OK, so we can also have a list of uh, tuples. So I can have one, two, comma, forty-five, nine, um, sixty-four, three. So this is a list of of tuples or tuples. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it's a list of pairs of tuples. So these are all pairs. Um, let's see what else can we do here. And what can't we do? So we cannot have a list of tuples like this, where we have one, two, and then we have high and three. So you see we get this error message here. It's saying arising from literal one. So here's literal one. Uh, this high should probably be a number and not a, um, a string but we get that error so you can see you cannot do that so let's run through some um, functions with tuples alright so we have this function called FST and it takes a pair and returns its first component so it takes a tuple pair so one two and it returns just the first component so it's going to return uh, the component one here all right, and another function would be s and d, which does the same thing. It takes in a pair of tuple, but this time it returns the second component, so it returns the number two. So let's run that uh, s and d component again, and let's put high here with the tuple, and you can see that it returns high. All right, so another uh, pretty interesting function is the zip function. And that's ZIP. It takes two lists, so one, two lists, and then it uh, joins them into one, one list of matching elements into pairs. Okay, so let, let me show you what I mean here. We have the list one, two, three, and we have a list one, two, three. 
and we're going to end up with a list of matching element pairs. So let's see. And now you see this list. Um, each one is a tuple. And you see the one matching with the one here. You see the two here matching with the two here. It becomes a tuple. And uh, the three matching with the, the, the word three here. So uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, and one more thing that we can do is the uh, list comprehensions with, with tuples. So I'm going to create a function. We're going to call it um, triangles. And we're going to get the triplet A, B, C. And we want C to bring back everything from 1 to 3. And then we want B, B1 to 3, and A to be 1 to 3. Okay, so I should get back 27 um, different triplet tuples in a list. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Ah, well, where did I go wrong? Ah, I see. So we need to let triangles equal that. And now let's go ahead and run that. Okay. So now let's run triangles. And now you see we have one triplet there. So this would be a triangle of sizes uh, where A equals 1, B equals 1, C equals 1. And then it's a triangle of size. Uh, uh, where a size would equal, where A would equal 2, uh, B would equal 1, C would equal 1. But we have 27 of these triplets here, or 3 to the power of 3. Uh, what we can do, we can do some more interesting things with it. So I'm going back here. I'm probably going to increase this amount to 10. If I were to run this right now, it's going to be a huge uh, list. So let's run triangles. I mean, it's going to be a it's going to be one list containing a lot of different um, tuplets. So you see that that's pretty massive. So let's put some more uh, conditions here. So we want to return where a squared plus b squared equals C squared. Oop, C squared. Okay, so now let's run triangles. And this looks like a much more manageable list. And what we can see is you can see that 4 squared plus 3 squared is equal to 5 squared. So that is 16 plus 9 is equal to 25. And that's true. Uh, next we have 3 squared, which is 9, plus 4 squared, which is 16, equals 25, equals 5 squared. So you see that um, these are basically all uh, exactly what we wanted to return. So thank you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.